The Horse Who Pulled 100 Carts Once upon a time, in the land of Silveria, there existed a charming village named Equinox. In Equinox, there lived a gentle farmer named Eldon who had raised a magnificent young horse. This horse, known as Noble, was not just strong but possessed a graceful spirit that endeared him to all. Eldon loved Noble dearly, for he had nurtured him from birth, offering him the finest hay and the purest water. Noble grew into a robust and majestic stallion, and their bond deepened with each passing day. One day, a proud merchant from a neighboring village came to Equinox. He had heard of Noble's strength and was boasting about the might of his own stallion. My horse, he declared with arrogance, is the mightiest in the entire region. No other horse can compare to his strength. Eldon, who had great affection for Noble, couldn't help but feel a touch of pride. He said to the merchant, I have a horse, Noble, who is truly extraordinary. He can pull 100 heavily loaded carts with ease. The merchant, intrigued and somewhat incredulous, scoffed at the idea. That is preposterous. No horse can pull 100 loaded carts. I will bet 1,000 gold coins that your noble cannot accomplish such a feat. The challenge was accepted, and a date was set for the contest. On the chosen day, the merchant assembled 100 heavy carts, each loaded with rocks and logs to make them incredibly weighty. Meanwhile, Eldon pampered Noble, feeding him the sweetest oats, brushing his coat until it gleamed, and adorning him with a garland of wildflowers. When the time came, Eldon harnessed Noble to the first cart and took his place on it. Filled with anxiety and the pressure of proving Noble's strength, he resorted to harsh words and cracked a whip in the air, yelling at the horse, Pull, you stubborn beast. I command you to pull, you big dummy. The poor choice of words and the harsh treatment left Noble confused and hurt. He refused to budge, and the merchant and the onlookers witnessed the farmer's challenge turning into a fiasco. The merchant laughed and demanded his winnings from the bet. Eldon had to pay him the 1,000 gold coins. He returned home and sat down, saddened by his lost bet, and embarrassed by the blow to his pride. The next morning, Eldon came to the barn where Noble was kept. He found Noble looking somber and dejected. Eldon realized his mistake, and with deep regret, he approached Noble and said, My dear Noble, I apologize for my harsh words and actions. I should have treated you with the respect and kindness you deserve. Touched by Eldon's sincere words, Noble forgave his master and accepted his apology. However, Noble, always the wise one, sensed the desire for a rematch in Eldon's heart. He looked into Eldon's eyes and communicated the wish to prove themselves once more, a bet for a higher reward, as a testament to their friendship and shared triumph over adversity. With a renewed sense of purpose, Eldon, appreciating the importance of respect and friendship, approached the merchant once more. I propose a rematch, he said. Noble and I challenge you to a rematch in pulling 100 carts, but this time the bet will be 2,000 gold coins. The merchant, though initially taken aback, agreed to the bet, recognizing the strength of their bond and their shared journey of redemption and respect. A rematch was set, and once again, Noble, fueled by Eldon's kindness and the prospect of proving the strength of their friendship, stood ready to face the challenge. With unwavering strength, Noble pulled each of the 100 heavily laden carts, one by one, winning the rematch and the 2,000 gold coins. The merchant, humbled and impressed, acknowledged that the power of respect, friendship, and redemption led to victories of the heart.